Namaskar and welcome. We are back with some fun learning activities in this second part of your chapter Seeing Without Seeing. In the first part, we all had watched a story. Do you remember that story? Oh, let me help you. The story was about a little girl called Onshangla. One day, Onshangla returned from school and told her mother about this new boy in her class who wore black glasses and could not see. Her mother then played a fun game. She blindfolded on Shangla and asked her to touch and smell a flower, hear the sound of a bell and taste orange juice. On Shangla enjoyed the game thoroughly. Eva, meaning her mother, finally told her, if a child cannot see, there are other ways of finding out things. It is possible that the new boy in her class may have some difficulties. Therefore, the classmates, including Onshangla, should become his friends. Now, as you saw, Onshangla followed her mother's commands. Will you follow my commands and participate in this fun activity? You just have to do follow as I say, right? First, look up, look down. Look right, look left. Now you have to close your eyes. Imagine, when your eyes are closed, how would you identify the following? Water. So your eyes are closed and there is a glass of water in front of you. How will you identify? Will you hold the glass? Will you bring it close to your mouth? Will you smell it? Or will you simply drink it and tell that this is water? Similarly, you are blindfolded. You cannot see. Your eyes are shut. There's a flower. How would you identify that flower? Definitely, you'll touch it, feel it. But which flower is that? What is the name of that flower? How would you tell it? You will smell it. Third, sugar. Mm. All children love sugar. Be it is in ice cream, donuts, jalebi, rasgulla. We all love sugar. So if there is some sugar in front of you and your eyes are shut, how would you identify that? You will taste it. Last, if somebody is clapping. How would you tell the direction of that clapping sound? What will I do? I will follow the sound and tell the direction of that clapping sound. That was a fun story and a fun activity. And I believe you all enjoyed it. When we enjoy doing or seeing something, we remember all about it. So tell me the answers to the questions appearing on your screen. Simply fill in the blanks. Onshangla was very dash one day. And your options are game, milk, quiet, biscuits, orange and boy. What do you think? Onshangla was very Quiet one day. Next one. A new dash came to Onshangla school. What is the answer? Yes, you got it right. A new boy came to Onshangla's school. Eva placed dash and dash on the table. She was hungry, right? Before playing the game, Eva had given her something to drink and eat. What was that? See your options. Eva placed milk and biscuits on the table. Eva played 
a new dash with Onshangla. What did she play with the boy? Yes, Eva played a new game with Onshangla. Onshangla cried, Oh, it is not water, it is dash juice. She drank juice, but what kind of juice was that? Yes, orange. So the right answer is orange juice. Let us talk a little more about our home and family. Okay, so you have to write or you have to tell the activities that you like to do with your family members. You have to write about them. One example has been given. That is, I like to walk with my grandfather. So one activity, right? One task. I like to walk with my grandfather. So that's an example that we have done for you. Rest you have to do. I like to dash with my... Okay, you can write, I like to cook with my mother. Or I like to play with my brother. Or I like to paint with my friend. Or I like to listen to stories with my grandmother. So it could be anything. We have given you some examples. You have to think about the activities that you love to do with your family and simply write them. That was fun. Activities that you called out may require help from others, but there must be some tasks that you can do all by yourself. You have to write five things you can do by yourself. One example is provided for you. I can take a bath by myself. Then there are more options for you. I can think. I can tie my shoelaces by myself. I can wear clothes by myself. Rest too, I believe you can do by yourself. On your screen, you would see some sentences. Put a right tick mark for whatever is good for our eyes. Okay? And put a cross mm -hmm. mark for whatever is not good for our eyes. Sit straight while reading or drawing. What do you think? If we sit straight while we are reading or drawing, is it good for our eyes or is it not good for our eyes? There you go. Sit very close to the TV. Hmm. When I was a child, my mother would always tell me not to sit very close to the TV. Pick your answer. Yes. There you go. Stare at the sun. What is your answer? Read in good light. There you go. Eat carrots and lots of vegetables. Is it good for our eyes or not? Yes. Play for a long time on the mobile. <laughs> I know you know the answer. Is it good for our eyes or not good for our eyes? Close eyes and splash water on eyelids. Is it good or not good? There you go. Let us learn the sound of O in these words. An ox. An otter. An orange, a fox, a dot, a top, a clock, a lock, a frock. 
another fun activity for you. Draw two things which you like to smell. Once you have done that, you have to draw two things which you like to taste. Next, whatever you have drawn, remember you have to share that with your friend because sharing is caring. With this, we come to a close. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. Till we meet again, please take care. Bye-bye. Namaskar.